The year 1866 was signalized by a remarkable incident, a mysterious and puzzling phenomenon, which doubtless no one has yet forgotten. Merchants, common sailors, seafaring men, captains of vessels, skippers, both of Europe and America, naval officers of all countries, and the governments of several states on the two continents were deeply interested in the matter. For some time, past vessels had been met by an erroneous thing, a large object, spindle-shaped, occasionally phosphorescent, and infinitely larger and more rapid in its movement than a whale. There appeared in the papers caricatures of every gigantic and imaginary creature, from the white whale to the immense kraken, whose tentacles could entangle a ship of 500 tons and hurry it into the abyss of the ocean. The question of the monster inflamed all minds. There was the legend of the great sea monsters that attacked ships and brought down terror. Fisherman says that the legend says whoever kills one of the evilest sea monsters will be rich for life. Some people don't roam the Atlantic Ocean because they're afraid of this fearsome sea monster. When they smell your flesh, there's no escaping them. Travelers set out on a trail and during it, they encounter sea monsters who stop their boat ride and devour them. A ship is sailing on a stormy night. Then a sea monster comes and eats the boat. Then a squid throws the sea monster in the sky. Then the unicorn fish killed the squid. As rumors spread, the stories of horrific encounters with sea monsters grew more and more intense. The animals of the sea are attacking the captain of the ship. Take him underwater and eat him. Ah! The sea monsters are attacking us! Mayday, mayday! The ship is going down with Randy! Help us! Help us, please! We really need help! Please! Oh, oh, oh. Creatures that attack the ship include a narwhal, giant squid, and an unknown fish. The narwhal sink, sinks the sh ship down. The ship, however, folds back up, but unfortunately it is attacked again by a squid and an unknown fish. Squid attack the ship, and then sea monster attack the squid. Then whole sea monster again attack the squid. How am I going to get out of here? The animals are fighting in the sea. The, uh, the sail ship got attacked. The sail people put scary faces because they will die. Sailor gets attacked by squids. His friend calls out for him while he's yelling help overboard. The sea monsters fought for the ship and they had a huge battle. The boat is sailing across the aquamarine blue sea and as it's sailing, suddenly a sea monster comes up and attacks the boat and the boat sinks to its death. Three ships sailing and get attacked by sea monsters, such as squids and narwhals. These monsters celebrate with full stomachs and jumping out of the water. As the boat sails across the sea, the narwhal places its tail against its front. Until another boat emerges, the octopus sailed to eat the boat as the boat sailed up in the heaven. A ship comes and is surrounded by monsters and in which a second ship comes and is also surrounded by monsters. Then everything clears again and two ships come again at the same time and is surrounded by monsters again. Donald Trump sent a new boat to go check out the Caribbean Sea. Meanwhile, on the boat, scientists named Mark Joseph stood there watching as the destruction happened. On the scientists bouncing all over the ocean, twirling and swirling, he came upon the drowning of his own cell. I can't sleep. He's 
struggles to come up to the surface, but he fails to do so. Therefore, he's dead and is now floating in the vast depths of the ocean. A person in the water is drowning. The people on the surface are shining a light in the water and are looking for him. There is seaweed that looks like it's pulling the person down. He tried to call out to someone for help, but it was too late. The drowning guy is suffocating underneath the deep sea. He sees the light one last time. The person struggled as getting back to land. As the ocean light, the person started to get out of balance and had struggle coming back to, to land, twirling, going up and down. While the scientist is watching the destruction, he sinks. And while he's underwater, a submarine comes and picks him up. As the submarine ride began, the adventure was just beginning. The people in the submarine control panel have different bottoms on how they control the ship underwater and they have their own window to watch the fishes swim by. The control panel has so many buttons. The pilot has to choose wisely before he hits the wrong button. There is a submarine out of control. He returns to the surface of the water and disappears out, out of sight. The submarine dives deeper and deeper until it gets tangled in a bunch of seaweed. A submarine is moving in the spotlight, then the submarine disappears under the water, then rises up again, then moves out of the view. The control panel is being made. A finger touches a panel and turns it baby blue, then a small circle forms. A, a finger touches it, then it turns red. A baby blue button forms with lines in another panel from which turns the color brown. The captain comes and makes the ship, then he starts. He thinks it is boring when it is slow, so he puts it on full speed and enjoys it. Then we went inside control room and Georgie pressed the red button, and then we went full speed. Five friends in the submarine are a uh, the sea, and they are surprised at the beautiful, unique sights under the sea. The person went in the 
in the water to look at all of the sea creatures. But the baby sharks came and told the mother about the person and the mother gulped the person in one bite. A scuba diver heard, heard this and saw it. it was amazing. He saw piranhas, narwhals and all kind of vicious sea monsters. It all started on a nice day underwater and a submarine just came moving and all of a sudden a shark came to the attack. After the shark is just swimming around and having a good old time swimming in the ocean. People in the submarine witnessed sharks chasing other sharks and dancing sharks. A lot of face expressions looking out the window of a submarine. The feeling of the expressions was happy and excited. The children are looking out the window, looking at different sea animals. While one child is looking out the window, the other child is either getting food or in the back doing something. Scary shark, which were actually happy dancing. The shark were attacked by explorers and started to attack dance. Then a tiny shark was swimming. Then a medium shark ate that tiny shark. Then the medium shark started swimming. Then the big shark ate the medium shark, then went away. While the sharks are dancing, I really never knew that, that sharks could actually dance. The spinning shark, the final move and stop. Two, two shark heads combine themselves, split in midair while spinning. Then a smaller shark comes out and is taken out by a larger shark. Therefore, the submarine finds a great opportunity to pass by while the sharks aren't there. The submarine saved the great white shark. Then the submarine got attacked from the great white shark. The submarine guy, he loves his wife and his child. Small fish, but the bigger ones, and gobbled them up. And he said, ha ha, losers. The scuba diver finally comes out of the submarine. While he's swimming around, he is amazed of what he sees and does a quick dab. Not a little while later, he sees a shark 
a baby shark and touches the shark. The, mo the shark's mother is infuriated that someone's touching her little baby, and she says, who's touching my baby? And then the shark eats the scuba diver. A beautiful scene of sharks doing their natural hobbies, from chasing submarines to jumping out and into the water. Submarine gets taken by a big shark and snatched. Sharks goes crazy first when submarine approaches. The sharks look like an illusion, and the mother and the father shark get married. And all the baby sharks play ring around the rosy. This movie is about a shark that a shark leader that killed two sharks or and 27 or less sharks and came in and killed that shark. While they were doing their victory and dance, other big sharks come and ate them. The sharks sailed in excitement. Until the shark, the shark that ate one of his fellow friends. Bouncing on top of them, the shark fell into pieces. The submarine came by the park. The park had collapsed as sharks realized. The sharks were making shapes and some cool and fun tricks, but in some the, la in some, the large shark came and ate the other small sharks at the end when the small sharks were done making shapes and tricks. A submarine was floating underwater. Then the driver went to sleep while driving. Then a shark attacked the submarine. The pointy part of the submarine killed the shark. The shark chases the fisherman, then the shark kills the fisherman. Fisherman goes to heaven, fisherman meets God. Shark comes back, God kills the shark. This man is brave by going where the unknown sea creatures may attack any intruders. Mark is willing to find a secret to unlocking the secret to the mystery of the sea. Josh heard about a secret and wanted it all to himself. Without any thought, he just went for it to see if he will survive in the sea. But are you sure about that though? Are you sure? The ship is moving towards the end of the sea and it's very, it is very light, but the light makes it look dark and then the shark attacks the people on the ship. The scuba divers dive deep into the sea. They saw a huge face that chomped him into pieces. The person is scuba diving in the deep depths of the sea and invented the dab underwater. Eventually, a shark comes and eats him. This young man was killed by a shark. Meanwhile, the other man with a lot of gold was so happy. The Miguel, the Miguelitan came and ate the sub in a little piece. There's an unknown creature swimming in the ocean lurking for its prey. All of a sudden, a, a squid came and attacked the, the submarine. Submarine goes by as squid attacks it. One person stays but also gets attacked by the squid. The smaller squid then attacks the submarine, drowning it to the depth of the sea. The man inside the submarine desperately tries to save himself by jumping out of the submarine.
scientists are traveling for five months and then they go to the bottom of the ocean and discover new treasure. After the scientists' five-month expedition, they were saved by a submarine and they felt overwhelmed and um, devastated. Authors of these animations show their creativity in different shapes and patterns.